Right now, five people are appearing in court today in connection with the VBS scandal. They are arrested. They were arrested yesterday in different parts of the country on charges of fraud, corruption, and money laundering. Let's speak to Hawks spokesperson Colonel Katlejo Mukhalo, who joins us now virtually. Colonel, thank you very much for your time here uh, on ENCA. Of course, this is a step, uh, you know, closer to finding all culprits when it comes to this huge bank heist. Um, good afternoon, Masejo. Um, yes, definitely. And this is as a result of a multidisciplinary um, investigation team that involves the serious um, corruption investigations as well as the uh, uh, DPCI's um, serious commercial crimes investigation. Mm. Uh, anything we know about these particular suspects, the latest arrests, uh, in terms of uh, what evidence uh, that, that, of course, you can share with the public for now, uh, what evidence the Hawks found um, to uh, you know, make them have that decision to arrest? Um, the suspects have actually appeared in court uh, this morning, mm. and all six of them, because one of them uh, was incapacitated and was in hospital, and he was discharged and managed to attend the court. They were granted bail of 5,000 rand each, and the court will be back in session on the 1st of August. These suspects are said to have uh, been um, laundering and the co co committed fraud and corruption uh, from the accounts of the municipality of the Dr. Kenneth Kaundam uh, District Municipality. What they did was um, one of the employees who was uh, in, employed uh, within the municipality took money from the municipal accounts and deposited into the accounts of one of uh, his brothers as well as his wife and one um, of his accomplices who uh, was uh, staying in Gauteng, and that accomplice in turn took the money and deposited it back into his account. Mm. How high ranking are these um, workers in that uh, Kenneth Kaunda uh, district municipality? Is this, uh, are these senior officials? Uh, is it within the procurement departments of the municipality? Um, yes, these are senior um, directors, in actual fact, who were working within the procurement and finance of uh, Takaunda District Municipality. Mm. Uh, and in terms of the charges that have been leveled against them, are you expecting more charges? Are you not ruling out the possibility of that happening? Um, the, the charges that we have currently is fraud, corruption, and money laundering. At this stage, we're not ruling out the... Um, I've lost your audio, Colonel, quite unfortunate. I've lost uh, Colonel Katlejo Mahale's audio, but very important in terms of that arrest by the Hawks. I don't know if you can hear me now, uh, Colonel, if you could just uh, finish off what you were saying uh, in terms of these charges and not ruling out any possibility of, of um, adding more. Um, the charges that these ha uh, will be facing when they going uh, when they, uh, the trial continues is corruption, fraud, and money laundering, and we're not ruling out the possibility of having more suspects being added. Mm. If you could uh, just help me, please, Colonel. I don't know if you have a number or at least uh, somewhere there. How many people so far are facing uh, court uh, proceedings for this particular uh, for this particular uh, scandal, the VBS scandal? How many people have the Hawks arrested so far in the past few years after the scandal broke out to the public? Stage, um, we we are looking at about. I think we are at uh, thirty or thirty-three. Mm -hmm. And we are still continuing, as we've already said previously, that these forms a lot of different legs where we will be continuing with the petition led investigations. And as and when the, the investigation detours to something else, we also going to have to explore those avenues. All right, Colonel, thank you very much for speaking to us here on All Angles.